Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rec Plays Sonic Generations. You might have already seen this up on my channel. If you have, let me make something clear. I have decided to go ahead and start doing my YouTube videos in the correct resolution. Uh, I, this is personal decisions based on past feedback. And stuff used to bother me about it, but yeah, I'm getting used to it. It doesn't really make sense for me to just deviate from the social norm in doing my videos in another resolution just because I feel like it. Eh. So, there you go. That's what I'm doing. And let's get on with it. Copyright Grimoth 2047 or whenever the hell he was born. So, this is a fantastic game. I've been having an ass ton of fun with it so far. We are getting started with the classic version of Green Hill here. As you can see, we are playing as the classic Sonic, who has the spin dash maneuver, which is pretty characteristic. I thought modern Sonic had spin dash as well, but he doesn't. And I am not starting this off very well, but I want to try to make up for that with some speed here. This is a very pretty game. Very, very, very enjoyable so far. And if you're any sort of Sonic fan, you should definitely buy it as soon as you can. Because it is not bad. It is not like all the other Sonic games. It is very, very good and very, very worth the cash. Which is to say, it's very, very inexpensive. It's good value. That's enough of that. This is a beautiful level. Hope you're agreeing on that. Okay, back up here. On my first playthrough with this level, I got an S rank, so I'm hoping I can keep with the status quo on that. Got it! Screw you, Rocket Crab! This is part of the story, by the way. When you start this game up, you are immediately thrown into this level, which is a very good idea. It allows you to get into the action very quickly without any sort of plot bullcrap. It's very, very satisfying to boot something up and see it immediately start to entertain you, which is something a lot of developers should consider, actually. Yeah, there's that S rank! Oh, man, I was going to be disappointed if I didn't get it on the second playthrough. Anyway, here we go. Hopefully this sounds a little bit better this time around. Demon Space Monster! I should go ahead and make a note that the plot of this really doesn't make sense. Any second. Oh, and I also turned on subtitles, hey guys, so there's what's that. Going on? You having a party or something? Surprise! Surprise! It's your birthday! Hi! Aww, no, it really guys. is your birthday. This is the 20 years, years of Sonic game, so it's actually very fitting for the plot to start it's off this way. It's impossible to surprise you. You totally got me this time. I had no idea. Yeah, oh, Amy. Right. Happy birthday, Sonic. So annoying. Like this. None of us like you. There's a chili dog! Like it? I love it! And then the black hole from nowhere happens. And everything goes to hell. And the chili dog is killed by being mm -hmm. thrown into the what? sun. Sonic, what's that? What's it doing? It's going to give us hugs! Hugs! Every Sonic villain wants hugs.
You're in the danger zone! Or the Emporium of Light shit, as I'm starting to enjoy calling it. Alright, first level, Green Hill. We've already been here once in the intro sequence, but we're going to be playing back through it as Modern Sonic. Ready. Go! Now I know all the controls. Hi. This is a very pretty, pretty game. Everything about it is just eye candy, which is pretty traditional for the newest Sonic games. And I still didn't get that job caught! <sighs> oh well. I think that's a hard one to get. Maybe you're not supposed to get it, I don't know. There we go. That's a little better. Through the waterfall into the secret cave. Fish! Demonic fish! Tribute to all those demonic fish that were in uh, Sonic 1. Hated those things, man. Pop up at the worst possible moment and just end your killing spree. The combos in this level are already pre-done for you, I'm pretty sure. You don't unlock the combo system until a little bit later. Ah, crap! Taking a different path this time. Like so! The spiky thing. I avoid the spiky thing. Uh, come on now. I think I'm making slightly worse timing than last time. This should still be good for an S rank. I'm gonna get this part right though. Yeah! Die, bees! Darn you, bees! Hyper speed! Ah, let's get us rank on this level! Oh, I just missed the boosts. Oh well. Pretty sure that was balls out anyway. Yeah, easily an S rank. Super happy time. And we rescued Tails! Yay, Tails! Thanks, Sonic. I thought I was dead, floating without a body in a black limbo. <sighs> I'm gonna have nightmares for weeks. And apparently in a bit of a kung fu move because of the lip dink sink, but I'm not going to get too picky about that. Is it me, or is that place we were just in awfully familiar? Mm, not to me. This place looks like something sucked all the life and color out of it. It's not familiar to him because he wasn't in the first game. Well, Just no a side note. Rescuing genies and magic books or saving aliens in an interstellar amusement park. Sonic and the Secret I Rings and Sonic Colors. I know way too much about this series. Saw something over there in the distance. Just so you know. Buildings, but they look weird. That might be a good place to check out. I'll be back soon. Wow, you weren't kidding when you said soon. I thought you already left. Hmm. Hmm. I find a hooky that would be. That was a double gamer. Alright, that's done. Green Hill, done. 
I don't think I got any of the red stuff, but that's cool. 